really focus on the three point shot? How much of that was the plan going into it? I go. I go. Um, the plan, you know, all week, you know, we were just focusing on their non shooters, making them, you know, beat us. And I feel like, you know, the coaches did a good job of uh, uh, emphasizing their practice, you know, taking guards out the game early and making someone else beat us. And, you know, they were what, four for 33 from a three point line. So, you know, coaches, you know, they. They came through, you know, we watched a lot of film. We executed, you know, practice, you know, we were locked in. You know, tonight we came out and got the win. Deshaun, you were, you were out uh, shooting like two hours before the game. I think that's the earliest you've been out there shooting. Just what was your mentality tonight? I mean, I love my team. You know, the coaches believe in me. Uh, my teammates, I have the, you know, best teammates in the country. You know, uh, my last two games weren't, you know, really my best. So, you know, I've just been... Just staying in the gym, you know, staying confident, watching film, you know, and just doing a little extra. And, you know, tonight it showed, you know, great teammates, great coaches, you know, they believed in me. Still, you know, uh, my confidence remained, you know, when I think got the one. Cam, I know physicality and toughness were something that Coach Hoiberg was trying to hammer into you guys, especially for that Rutgers game. The way that you guys set the tone early, how do you think you did in those regards? I feel like, well, Coach really prepped the whole, like, we had a, we had a tough practice. We had tough, you know, just intensity. So, try to bring that here to the game. Paid off. John, how important was it to get off such a good start? You have seven nothing, kind of kind of, you know, set the tempo, set set what you guys were. It was good. You know, you could feel the energy in there. You know, Iowa is one of our rivals. You know, but we didn't let that disturb us. You know, take it like you know a regular game. We have uh, you know 16 more games left, so we came in. You know, the energy. We seen the fans from Iowa. We seen our fans, the best fans, you know, in the country. And, you know, we just took the energy and ran with it. Did this kind of remind you all of that game to end last year? You, you, you're wearing the same uniforms. You know, you got to walk on out there flying around doing stuff. You, you beat Iowa. To, did, did it remind you all? Most that? definitely. I felt the energy. You know, last year, what, down 10 with like 50 seconds left. And then this year, you know, to come in and, you know, beat them again with a great fan base. It was great. It was unbelievable. You guys had five guys scoring double figures. You got Charlie running around, diving for loose balls. Uh, is this kind of an example of when everybody brings it? what you guys can be as a, as a complete team? I mean, y'all seen it. Well, I, we kind of seen it, Indiana and Purdue. So we tried to pick up the intensity. You know, we got doubted, but we have to just work hard, keep competing. Let's get back to work. Hey, what does Thor mean to both of you guys just as a teammate, and, and what's it like playing with him? I love playing with Thor. Uh, I, honestly, I, it's my best friend on the court. Like, he's, this is my best friend, but he's my best friend <laughs> too. So it's like, I love that? playing with Thor. Just his, his energy, he moves without the ball. Uh, he makes me look good, backdoor cutting. Um, he just He's just so positive, you know, and he's bringing energy. I just... And also, I feel like, you know, Thor, he has a high level IQ. You know, like, he, he makes it simple. So, you know, sometimes I learn things from him, you know. And, you know, he was younger than me, but, you know, I played with him last year as well. And, you know, this year his game has elevated. You know, I stay in his area telling him, you know, keep playing, keep staying confident because he's playing great. Yeah. Along those same lines, what does Charlie bring? to this team, especially tonight, what did he bring? I mean, I think I'll see that Charlie was all over the place, diving on the ground, just making a little, just the little things that we needed and came through. I appreciate Charlie too, just a lot. Like, I thank Charlie. Charlie, you know, he's a hard worker, you know. He sometimes, me and him, you know, are battling, you know, who's the first in the gym, you know what I mean? I see him in here 10 minutes before me, the next day I'm trying to get in 10 minutes before he gets here. So, you know, we battling on who's first, who's the last at the gym. He's a very hard worker, you know, it showed on the court, you know, not just putting the ball in the run, but just those little plays, jumping on the floor, getting that energy going. Yeah. You can't teach that. Yeah. You guys have kind of been up and down. I mean, you had Rutgers, you guys didn't play well, it's not you play well. What do you make of that? Mm, I feel like, I feel like we just we just wasn't prepared for that game. I feel like we wasn't all locked in as a team. Like this game, we were all locked in. We was not trying to have that happen to us again. So we just got prepared, played hard, and the outcome came to itself. Hi, this is Jason Jorgensen, sports director at KRVN. Thanks for watching this video on our YouTube channel. Now to keep up to date with all of the things we have going on in terms of sports, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. All you need to do is hit the little red button in the corner.